when you see people speak in French and the thing is flowing, there's fluidity, you're just enjoying this musical. It's not just ordinary, they are observing from logical rules, which you call liaison. Liaison in French happens when you pronounce a consonant that is not pronounced on a normal day that ends a word because the next word begins with a vowel or with a silent H. You're going to discover that liaison in French are important to help you to link ways and make sure that your language flows. Yeah. Three manifestations of liaison in French. What we we'll call liaison obligatoire, liaison facultative, and then you have liaison antedit. You have liaison basically like with sounds like z, t, n, p, r, g. You have les amis, you have deux amis, you have chez elle, you have petit homme, you have grand homme, you have mon ami, you have premier étage, you have troupe à ponton. Because the first word ends with a consonant. And the second one begins with the vowel. The consonant is pronounced because of the vowel and the silent H. For the that very the first one, liaison obligatoire, you must observe liaison as well as these ones are consigned. When you have determiners, les enfants, aux enfants, des amis, ses enfants, et plusieurs amis, dix ans, mon ami, ton ami, ton oncle. When you have determiners in French, introducing the now, you use liaison. When you have prepositions also, Dans, dans un an, chez eux, those instances, liaison are used as well. When you have adverbs, monosyllabic adverbs, like très important, for example, mieux, plus important, bien aimé, use liaison. In us. When you have nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont, there's liaison there because of the, the subject and verb position inverted. As we have, for example, sont-ils. In that sentence, we have changed the position of the subject and the verb. So there's liaison compulsorily in that particular instance. For liaison facultative, these ones, if you like, you observe them. Look, for example, we have les enfants innocents. Enfants innocents, as you have there, is not compulsory to have liaison, but you can decide to put it there. When you have verbs and then plus verb and followed by a preposition, you have, for example, je suis allé, je vais essayer. That for that Swiss allé and vais essayer is not compulsory to have liaison, but you can put it there, it's facultative. Je vais à Paris. You can say je vais à Paris, you could say je vais à Paris, but if you say je vais à Paris, it's facultative, you can do that if you want to. The last thing you want to know about liaison is called liaison antedit. You must not put liaison. When you have a noun and an adjective followed by a verb, let's say we have un savant anglais, you cannot put savant anglais or Sa maison est. No, you cannot say maison est. It's interdict. And when you have the, the conjunction a, lui et elle, you cannot say lui et elle. It's not done in French. So you cannot have that. When you have also an interrogative adverb, like con, comment, comment elle, you cannot say comment, comment t'es vous. Or you cannot say con dette il parti. You don't have liaison in those instances. So these are different about liaison. Make sure you subscribe and follow the channel for more.